Thanks everyone. This is our first kickoff session for the 2022 Women at GitLab Mentorship Program. And I'm super excited to be hosting this call and hosting this program again. Um, this is our third iteration of the Women at GitLab Mentorship Program, which is um, really cool to be part. I wasn't part of the first iteration, but I was part of the second and the third. And it's been really cool to see how the um, interest and participation has grown. We've gone from like 30 people to a little over 60 to now a little over 100. Um, so I'm just really excited that you all have made time for mentorship and made time for this call. Um, and I hope that you feel excited and inspired and like ready to go after we hear from our panelists today. Um, so for this kickoff session, we have three panelists. We have Sarah, Katerina, and Darva with us today, and they're all going to speak in a minute. Um, and for the panel, I will um, voice a couple of questions for the panelists, and then any panelist that feels called to answer the question is welcome to chime in. If you don't have a response or you don't feel comfortable answering, you can just skip it. That's totally fine. We'll go through a couple of questions, and you can see what those questions are in the doc already. And then after we go through the couple of questions, uh, there'll hopefully be a little bit of time at the end for anyone on the call to ask a question that they want to ask either the panelists or if you just have like a program specific question, you're welcome to ask it now. Um, we're recording this call as well, just to keep in mind so that anyone who wants to catch up on the recording, if they can't be here live, will be able to do so. I think that's all that I have as a quick introduction. Um, so yeah, again, thanks for being here. And I'm going to first ask the panelists if they can do a quick introduction of themselves. If you can share your name, your role at GitLab and where you're located. I can start. Thank you, Samantha. My name is Sarah Waldner. I'm the group manager for the product team and the create stage. And I'm based in Denver, Colorado. I hand it off to uh, Katarina. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, Katarina Gavalis, I go by Kat. Uh, Katarina is a, a mouthful. And um, I'm located in Atlanta, Georgia, and my responsibility is Director of Sales Operations. And I've been here a little over five months. Hi, my name is Dara Satcher. I'm the Senior Manager for the Create Stage. I live in Atlanta as well. And I've been at GitLab for a little over three years. Cool. Great. Thanks, Sarah, Kat, and Darba. So this first question that I have for our panelists is what was your biggest accomplishment, key learning, or takeaway that you've gained from participating in a mentorship relationship? And I wanted to add this at the beginning too, and that like panelists, you're welcome to talk about mentorship at GitLab, but also outside of GitLab too. This is more of just like your experience in your life with mentorship. Mm -hmm. Do you want us to go in the order that our names are listed or just kind of pop in when we have an answer? Oh, um, I think you can just pop in when you have an answer. That's fine. Okay. Um, I have two that I want to talk about. I'm very passionate about mentorship because it's been my mentors, honestly, more than my managers who have helped me on my trajectory and helped me pivot at critical points. So when I first graduated from college, I joined a huge oil and gas firm. I was working as a subsea engineer. And a tip that I got from a mentor during that time, um, as women, we typically want to be very helpful, this very specific point. And when you're younger in your career, you can often take on tasks in an effort to contribute to projects that are very project management oriented, or very note taking oriented, or very help oriented. And um, this was fairly detrimental to me in the first six months working at this firm, as I was very anxious to be a high contributor at the company. And I was taking on tasks that were actually putting me in this box that were not helpful to me landing larger projects or getting more responsibilities. And I got this advice and feedback from a mentor I was working with at the company and how I should act in the engineering team and how I should potentially not sign up to organize the company um, dinner party and instead 
make sure that I was driving my engagement in terms of revenue projects and things of that nature. That was very specific to a situation, but that completely transformed how I interacted in that company and changed my trajectory. Another mentor relationship that I had helped me ultimately get a job as a software developer. And I won't give the whole description of that, but that individual helped me understand the people to network, the courses to take, the skills to learn, and then coached me on interviewing so that I could change careers entirely to get into technology, which is where I am today. And I'm very grateful for that person. Cool. Thanks so much for sharing that, Sarah. Darva, you just unmuted. You want to go next? Sure. Um, so I'm going to, to keep it brief, I'm just going to talk about uh, my biggest accomplishments as a mentor. Uh, I feel like I get the most satisfaction when there are awesome results. So I've mentored team members uh, who receive promotions. So to watch someone grow and actually be recognized by the company is very gratifying. Uh, also, I hate when people are stressed. And if I can just remove the stress from my mentee and make them have like a happier and a better work-life balance, I think that's huge. Um, also, when I mentor team members who are working on a big initiative or who are, who are hesitant to start a big initiative and they work on it and I coach them through it and then they finish it and they have this huge accomplishment and they feel great, um, I like that. And another thing I like, which is a little unusual is when I help someone out of their role, right? When someone like Sarah is doing a, 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 trans, a transition in careers, that's, that's really hard because it's not easy to go from one path to the next. So I like, um, my biggest accomplishments are when the mentee does something awesome and, and ends up really happy and meeting their goals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sarah, that's awesome. I'll go next. Um, I had the opportunity to be sponsored when I worked at McKesson um, through a program called Path Builders. And I believe they're, they're mainly here in Atlanta. And I started out as a mentee during a time in my career when I had just been promoted to manager and given the task to stand up a sales operations team. So a little bit floundering, not sure where to even begin and um, having, you know, a mentor to kind of talk through some of those challenges and learn from her experience um, was critical in my ability to be able to establish the organization and make it functional and move forward. So happy to share, you know, that relationship has now been um, well over 10 years. I don't speak to her as often, but I do reach out, um, which was a, a bonus, I think, because I, I don't know that those kind of mentoring relationships last that long. And then I had the opportunity to also revert to a mentor through Path Builders and work with an individual who was just new to management and relay some of my learnings um, and, and help guide her through that process. So similar to Darva, that's where you get your most gratification is when you see the individuals changing and the impact they make to the business. And I think, you know, my takeaway through both experiences was you need to advocate for yourself um, to gain a seat at the table, to be able to impact even beyond your organization, you know, branch out, don't be afraid to, to try new things um, because that's just how you, you build your repertoire. Yeah, thank you so much. This is awesome to hear like best experiences as mentee, mentee, and then Kat, like your transition from mentee to mentor. So thanks all for answering that question. So this next one that I have is, um, what was the biggest challenge that you faced as a mentor or a mentee? I would say, um, just generally, I've had challenging mentor relationships where I was eager to participate in one, but didn't have any goals. And so you get a lot more out of a relationship when you have a specific goal you're working towards. And that doesn't necessarily have to be a promotion. It could be development of a skill, but the relationship needs to be based around having a goal. And then a specific challenge I had was coaching someone on a career change that ultimately the organization was not ready to support. And so we had to pivot the relationship to be focused on building skills and relationships outside of the company and the organization that we worked for. And that was very challenging. Um, ultimately successful, 
but difficult for the mentee in terms of feeling that they've spent so much time putting something and my role kind of went from skill teaching to more maintaining motivation. I think one of my challenges was my second year in mentoring, I received uh, a pairing with a mentee that basically didn't know why she was being sponsored through the program. And that was quite challenging because I was still fairly new to mentoring. And so there was a lot of, you know, guidance given to her to go back and talk with her manager who was supporting her through the program, sponsoring her rather, and understand because that whole transition of why you're going through this program was not well communicated. And as we started to work together um, through the tenure of the mentoring program, I realized that her communication skills and self-awareness is what they wanted to focus on. Um, so just getting to that point took well over half of the mentoring program's time, but I felt like we ended up in a good place. She had some clarity and she started to embrace, um, you know, the interactions, but, you know, very difficult early on because she didn't know why she was going through it either. And I'm gonna give an example of a challenge that I have not faced because I've had the best mentees, if any of them are on the call, but um, I have been in programs before where it failed. And this is why I failed. Uh, they didn't follow the credit values. Uh, some of the mentees did not come prepared to the session, so they weren't very efficient. Um, Sometimes when they were in the sessions, they would say they would do something and actually not follow up. So that's results. Um, also, sometimes mentees were not transparent about what they wanted out of the program. They didn't know, right? Okay. So it's really important that the mentees have expectations set for them. Like this is, you know, the mentors are taking time because they really want to help you and support you, but you have to also show a commitment, a certain level of commitment. When the mentees show that level of commitment and when the mentors show up, it's perfect. When one of those two things doesn't happen, then, then not so much. Yeah, thank you all for speaking to that because I think that in mentorship, being a mentee is a big responsibility and you get out of it what you put into it. And so if you spend time setting, setting really specific goals and an intentional purpose behind what you wanna get out of your mentorship, like the sky's the limit on what you can achieve with the great mentor. So um, I added in the chat and I've linked it probably in 6 million places, but there are some resources in the handbook um, about mentorship in general, but specifically there's like a format about how to set a goal and to set a purpose for your mentorship. So for any mentees on the call, um, please check out that resource and share any other goal setting resources that you might have, that'd be great. The proposal to increase the price of electricity. Okay, so this last question, um, and I think there's been like cool advice kind of sprinkled into everyone's responses, but I'd love if you could share a piece of advice with mentors or mentees in this program about how they can really make the most of it. Yeah, I'll start. And I think Darva hit on it very well in that make your mentoring relationship a priority. Like take advantage of the time you have with your mentor, mentee come prepared for the meetings, make sure you have clear, defined and measurable goals. And most importantly, I think be authentic in your conversations. Um, be, be willing to be vulnerable because I think that's when we learn the most. Um, and this is just such a great opportunity um, to, to, to you know, build beyond just your professional skills, but sometimes even personal, it translates to your personal as well. So really, own it and um, be prepared um, and make it a priority. Just what Kat said, that was amazing. All right, uh, so I have a message for the mentors first. Uh, please use an agenda template, give your mentees some structure and then ask them to pre-populate the template before the meeting. That goes a long way. And then if you can, respond to them also asynchronously. So that when you get into the meeting, you're just focused on just the really like the outstanding questions and things like that. That really helps uh, for a more efficient session. What Kat said, I, I wholeheartedly believe in setting smart, smart goals and specific measurable, actionable, get the other results, something else. Um, make sure you do that. And I think GitLab is an awesome tool to do that with. I think you can create a personal project 
it can create issues, um, iterative issues like by month or by quarter for your different SMART goals. And then you can track your work and your personal GitLab project. Awesome way to use GitLab. Mm -hmm. For the mentees, uh, the one tip I would give you is all of you all just had a performance review, employee development plans, next steps and opportunities. Try to align that with your mentoring goals because you get a two for one. You please your manager and you also are pleasing yourself and improving your own employee development. So keep that in mind. Yeah, thanks. That's great advice too, Darva. It's good timing and a good opportunity to like kind of take some action on those career development conversations that you've recently had. So thank you so much, Sarah and Kat and Darva. Um, I'm going to see if there's anyone on the call who has any questions that they wanted to ask the panelists. I don't see any in the doc, but if you, oh, actually Diana's uh, writing one, if you want to voice it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Uh, so this is to the panelists. What's the best thing that you've learned as mentors from your mentees? I would, I would say the best thing I've learned is from one of my support engineering mentees. I am right now in this, a role where I have to be on call, but my mentee is on call as like her profession. So a lot of times I can get advice from her on my job. So I find it really great to have access to people who have information about other things going on in GitLab. Um, I've learned how to coach different types of people because it's different than if it's somebody who reports to you, you can have, like Kat said previously, a very authentic and open relationship. And I feel that you can do that to a greater extent with a mentor than your manager. And so it's really helped me hone how I connect uh, with different types of people, especially at GitLab, because we have individuals in, I think, 70 plus countries. Um, and so I've really enjoyed learning um, through the mentor process. And Diana, I think from my perspective, um, just past mentees um, have been in very different professions than mine. So I've learned that there still are a lot of commonalities and there's still a lot to be gained in having that relationship. You can still help them. We all face very similar challenges. Um, so I've also learned from my mentees as well as them, you know, leveraging me. That's great. great. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, thanks for the, the question, Diana. Does anyone else have any questions or thoughts that they want to bring up for the panelists? Okay. Well, if something does come up and you want to follow up with the panelists, um, you can feel free to add it to the agenda and I'll tag them in or you can tag them in and we can chat asynchronously. Um, I will just say a few things before we wrap up this session. Throughout the mentorship program, the best place to get in touch with me or um, to ask questions of other mentors and mentees is going to be the women dash at dash GitLab dash mentor slip mentorship Slack channel. But if there's ever like a an issue that comes up with your mentor or your mentee that you don't feel comfortable posting in that channel, you can absolutely just send me a direct message on Slack. Um, I've created two Slack groups, one for all the mentors and one for all the mentees. I don't plan on using them very often. Um, I'm going to be posting weekly messages in the Slack channel, but I won't tag everyone in them weekly. They're more just discussions, discussion questions and resources to help you through your mentorship if you're feeling stuck but I will use them every so often if there's like a poll that I'm asking you to respond to, or if there's like an important change or thing that I want to announce. So you won't get pinged from me too much, but when you do, please check them. Um, and now that we've had this kickoff, we have two more sessions, one later, one, both of them are actually tomorrow, one later in the day for me and one in the evening for me. Um, and so you're welcome to attend those. We have different panelists and a different structure for that last third session happening tomorrow. Um, but no problem if you can't attend them. These calls are kind of like the official start line of the program. So beyond now, mentees should be setting up your mentorship sessions um, and really diving into your mentorship. 
does anybody have any like program structure kind of questions they want to ask before we close out the meeting? Cool. Well, thank you all for being here. Um, thanks again to our panelists. This was a great discussion and I will talk to you all soon. Great. Thank you.